Up next on NETV, we look into a project at the University of Calgary that is trying to capture and reuse carbon dioxide to create energy. Robert Jurowski has more. Carbon dioxide, or CO2, is created by vehicles and other processes burning fuels such as fossil and coal. Calgary is the fifth largest creator of CO2 emissions in the world, and Canada is eighth ranked by country. But people here are not aware of how much we create per capita. Would you venture a guess of what the per capita for Canadians is in metric tonnage of our emissions of carbon dioxide? Metric tonnage, um, I'll go with somewhere around 50, I think, or perhaps 40. Um, 10,000. <laughs> Two. 10,000. 10,000? 100,000. A 2008 scientific survey puts a Canadian's average CO2 emissions at 16.33 metric tons and the world's total creation of CO2 at over 34 billion metric tons, 45% of which remains in the Earth's atmosphere. This excess CO2 is what Dr. David Keith and his team are trying to harness at the University of Calgary Research Centre. We're focused on commercializing what we call direct air capture technology. So this is passing huge amounts of just ambient atmospheric air through our big absorber and scrubbing out part of the 400 parts per million CO2 that exists in that air. Uh, so a couple big challenges, uh, primarily nobody's ever done this before, um, not, not at least in the way that we're trying to do it. People do scrub CO2 from the air on um, very specialized applications like spacecraft or submarines, but of course their uh, cost is essentially no object. Safety is, is the primary concern. To play any meaningful role in the climate and uh, energy scenario, we need to bring its cost down many, many factors from, from where spacecraft or, or submarine scrubbing systems um, occur. And that's why with our company here, we've, we've focused on adapting big industrial technologies that are already proven at industrial scale, have good economics of scale, and uh, we think that's the shortest route to, to marketing our technology. And the big ticket prize that we're really going after, um, you know, many decades out from, from now, is uh, direct fuel synthesis. So directly capturing CO2 from the air gives us a way that enables us to use carbon-free electricity that we, that we aim to have in the future to break apart water, form oxygen and hydrogen. And then what we could do is instead of storing or transporting or using that hydrogen as a fuel, which requires all new infrastructure and can be quite costly, we could bond that hydrogen with carbon dioxide we've scrubbed from the air and make the same type of high energy density liquid fuels that are compatible with today's infrastructure. Maybe one day the vehicles that park here at the University of Calgary will be powered by the results of this project. For NUTV, I'm Robert Janowski.